Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine so guys welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how you can show your cpu clock speed in the msi afterburner as you can see in my screen in the top left corner there is a cpu clock speed right here okay and you just have to follow a few steps uh, which i'm going to show you in this video okay so now first of all move to your browser and type hw info and uh, click enter and here as you can see the first tab right here you have to click here and you will be redirected to this website and as you can see the button uh, right here the free download you have to just click here and uh, right now this is the software which you have to download and it's the installer and for go to here as you can see the free download tab and select any server and uh, I will suggest you to local US and you'll be able to download the software and uh, then you just have to install I'm not gonna download because I have already installed this now after installation uh, when you will directly open this MSI afterburner software then it will automatically tells you to you know run this application let me quit this okay now as you can see right here this will pop up like this and you just have to click on run and one more thing do not forget to you know check this sensor only tab and then click on run and when it will run it will give you the access to all these core and all voltages kind of stuff and clock speed and everything about your hardware okay now i'm going to minimize this because uh, we have to move to the settings right now in the msi afterburner so first thing you have to do is you have to move to the settings tab which is right here and uh, then go to the monitoring section and here is the main uh, steps which you have to follow please watch these steps carefully and if you will definitely find this video helpful then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel okay now uh, click here as you can see on my mouse cursor in this in this button right here select plugins now when you will click here you will see an option here hwinfo.dll okay you have to select this and then go to the setup tab when you go to the setup tab then you will be able to see the option here add i already added my core clock so you are able to see my clock speed in the msi afterburner okay now you have to click here in the add tab and you are able to see here everything which you want to show in the MSI afterburner monitoring screen okay now uh, to see the clock speed uh, people with, uh, will gonna select all these cores but that I think that doesn't matter because a single core uh, will be okay as you can see right here uh, this is the core 0 which is my first core 0 to 5 total 6 core CPU it is and uh, if you select this first score, uh, click this and then click OK, it will automatically add it to here, okay? And uh, then you'll be able to see your clock speed and click OK and again, OK. And here I'm gonna show you because mine is already added. So uh, I can't show you properly, but here it is. You're gonna see it like this, okay? core zero clock and why I told you to just select first core because when you are in, in in a game or a heavy CPU workload section your CPU definitely gonna be maintaining the same clock speed on all cores okay and if you or a single CPU is running at like 4.1 gigahertz or 2 or maybe 4.3 then all other cores are definitely gonna be uh, stable at the same clock speed so if you be able to see the single core clock speed you are definitely getting the idea about other old cores uh, that uh, like in which clock speed they are running okay so this is it now uh, you can hit apply and then okay and you'll be able to oh, sorry and you'll be able to see your clock speed in the games like this so this is just a little tutorial. Any question, please definitely comment. I would love to reply. And uh, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care for now. Bye-bye.